you know, I, and I think it was um, Benjamin Franklin who said, or maybe Thomas, and, Thomas Jefferson who said, the generation that does not learn from its history is bound to repeat it. Absolutely. And yeah. so, but if you go back and you read in, in church history, you see that the church grew, the church exploded in times of oppression. Absolutely. You know, you read the book of Esther. She was called to the kingdom for such a time as this. Men and women of God, right now, you are called to the kingdom for right now. Yes, this sir. is why you were born. This is why you're on planet Earth. In oh. this time, it's for this occasion. And if we don't wrap our hearts, our passion, and our vision around that, we miss the moment of God. It's like in Isaiah 26 or, or in Genesis 26, Isaac was in a time of famine and drought. And God says, sow a seed in the time yep. of famine and drought. That makes no logical sense. Mm -hmm. But the biblical principles of God work, whether you're in a pandemic Absolutely. or whether you're in the middle of the most prosperous time in Americans' yeah. history. The crazy. principles of God's word are not conditional on our circumstances. They work just yeah. like gravity works. Absolutely. And so often we, we, because of fear or because of concern or really because of sometimes just ignorance, we throw out the principles of God's word because we believe the megaphone of culture because that's what we've given our ear to Ooh. more than the Ooh. word of God. Ooh. And God's word, and God's oh. word is always a still small voice. It's not a loud shout. That's a mouthful. So the the megaphone of our... culture is bigger than the, louder than the word. My God, that's the truth.